Gato Perro back with another action figure review today on the Spider-Man Origin Signature Series Spider-Man. Yeah, so this is basically our Christmas haul that we're going to be reviewing every day with Green Goblin, Sam Man, and Doc Ock, and Spider-Man as you see right here, but we're going to take a look at Spider-Man first. Alright, taking a quick look at the packaging first, we got Spidey down at the bottom with Signature Series running down the side, and we got a big picture of Spider-Man's head on the side as well. Then on the side spine, we got three pictures of Spidey artwork, and then on the back we get this long history. A picture of the figure and the other ones we're going to be taking a look at. Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man, Green Goblin, and Black Suit, which I don't have. So, don't expect that one. And you can read the bio right now. Oh my! Oh! So, what we got here is a different type of Spider-Man that I'm used to reviewing. As you can see, he is full of cloth. Minus a few exceptions in the head, the two hands, and the boots. Everything else is nice cloth, all really nicely sewn together. Very accurate costume. Reminds me of a lot of the animated series. Alright, so let's get to the sculpt. Looks very classic, really big white eyes going across the head with all the webbing sculpted and indented in with black paint going in across. And yeah, it looks really good. Very classic shape. You can see the nose, the jawline. And we finally get to the costume, which is the biggest thing about this guy that is different from any other one. We got this big costume. It is still plastic underneath, but it's really like a, a much more thicker, more muscular Spider-Man, which reminds me a lot of the animated series. Looking really cool, sewn together up here in the back. We have this really nice soft spider which feels really good. And it's also kind of a nostalgic feeling for me if anyone's played Spider-Man on the PlayStation 1 or Spider-Man 2 into Electro. This is what it reminds me a lot of. All the individual lines really well done in here. I don't know how the process of making this type of costume is made but it's really... I don't know, it looks intricate and it looks really interesting. It doesn't have like any crazy texture, it is mostly just comic book based. So it looks really good and it's actually a lot darker and red in color than it's um, making it out to be on the camera because of the lighting. But we still got the really cool spider in the front. The belt, more seams going down. There's nothing too awkward, there's no like uh, like anything's coming off of the costume itself. Here we got the very light blue, that's actually kind of darker in person. We got the boots again, just as nicely shaded and painted as before. And yeah, it looks really good and there are pickles at the bottom of his feet. And it says Marvel 2006, so that's kind of... A long time ago. And we got the gloves also made out of plastic. And we do get the detail of a web shooter right here which is facing forward so it makes sense of when you have him shooting it out. It actually points forward so it looks like he's shooting the web and it makes sense. So that's really nice. For articulation, it it, it is hidden by the fabric but I know what it looks like because I've previously ripped up a, a, one of these before so I know what the articulation looks like. And you can't feel it underneath. So his head is only able to swivel side to side but not up and down at all. Here's on to our body joints that go out that much. It do swivel forward, and I don't think the custom pre costume prevented that much, so you can see it swiveling all the way around. He does have a bicep cut right here, a single jointed elbow. Uh, his gloves don't swivel. He does have a wrist. Uh, they go side to side. They go in and out. And he does have this weird thing where his web shooter hands are able to clamp up and down from the fingers. And this side is a fist, and you can also open it for open palm. He does have a diaphragm joint. Goes on that much and back. And then we have a separate ball joint at the bottom, then they'll pivot forward and back. So together they do this much, like that. He does have legs that go forward, that much, really good. They go out. He does have a bend at the knee. He does not have any boot rotation, but he does have ankles that move up and down, and that's it. For Spider-Man's height, he stands at 9 and a quarter inches tall. Here he is compared to the Spider-Man classic Spider-Man from Toy Biz from Series 1. And yeah, I think this is the one that's closest looking to how this guy is made. I think uh, just basically just fabric put over the figure. The head sculpt is pretty similar. Overall, they look pretty cool. Here he is compared to the Icon's Venom, who is basically the biggest guy I could think of. And yeah, Spider-Man is around 9 inches tall, and he's like 13 inches tall. I think they're in pretty good height. He reaches up to the bottom of his pec. So if you have these two guys, maybe you can have them together. Maybe you have one and you need the other. They don't look too bad together. Okay, so that's it for my review overall. I think this is a really cool Spider-Man to have. Very unique. If you want to have a different Spider-Man other than your average 6 inch plastic action figure, I kind of do recommend this guy. Completely fabric. He does have really good articulation. You can get him into some really neat poses. The head isn't all that good. But overall, I think it's just really cool looking. As I mentioned before, if I had to give him a rating, I guess an 8 out of 10 for execution. I just really like it. Maybe nostalgic feeling. I don't know. Just looks really good. Anyway, this has been Gato Pedro. Please stay tuned for other figure reviews on this line, such as Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin and Sandman. That is all for now. Gato Pedro. Find a blood, find a blood, find a blood, find a blood.